Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out 17's performance or, or choreography video for Light of Flame. So we only have a unit here. We have Jun, Hoshi, Wanu, and Uji. I'm really excited to see this because Light of Flame is definitely one of my most favorite from their uh, semicolon album. The, just the Latin vibes, oh, it's just so good. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna check out the dance practice. I unfortunately can't do the actual footage, the actual performance because it's from a concert and I will probably get blocked on that. Uh, so we're gonna have to do with the choreography video. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Love that. Oh shit. Oh, you guys had mentioned that it's Uji's um, outfit that they had, I think. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, shit. That crawl. <laughs> this is very sensual. It's very subtle, but it's sensual. Lots of floor moves. What the hell? They haven't gotten up. Wait, this thing. Look at Hoshi, where he places his... Nice. There's a lot of control in this, especially because it's so delicate. The dance moves. Oh, fuck. A pop. I feel like this could have easily been a like a the whole. Oh my god, that stretch. Wait. <laughs> There's so many things happening in each one in each move because it's so continuous it just flows and even though there's nothing happening they're moving like these kind of things and it just goes along with the music so nicely um, i was gonna say this could have easily been everybody dancing because they used backup dancers um but i get it. it's a more of a unit song but like um i think that would have been great if they did it, if everybody did it just for the concert um <laughs> That leg. <laughs> Ooh, the pop. Ooh. Okay, that's a that's a very good dynamic change. And it hits right on the falsetto, which is like, oh, look. Like the isolation here with a head. I, I, to, it's head, shoulders, and then it goes to that windmill. Oh, fuck. Nice. Love the partner work. I know they're in like sweats and everything, but like, this is so sensual. I can't, like, it's just dance moves themselves are fucking killing me. Like, it's so dominant. Yeah, lots of flicks. That. Oh my god, that leg extension is just so odd. Oh, who choreographed this? And what did they have for dinner? The dynamic change, it goes along with so well with the trumpets. Nice. Oh, 
I'm sorry I'm not dissecting much, I'm just so mesmerized. Oh fuck. This choreography definitely heavily leans on um, the sensuality of the moves and the control and the flicks and then also subtle strengths. So with those um, with those windmills and stuff, like it's actually quite difficult to go from the lighter moments into those big movements, right? Uh, because it's almost like it compares to if you're basically just laying down, kind of just you're on your phone, and then suddenly you have to like jolt up an energy to have that uh, strength and momentum for those big movements. So that's the hardest part of this choreo. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't di dissect anything there. <laughs> it's just so sensual. I, I mean, the, the moves are quite straightforward. <laughs> um with the whole like with the execution <laughs> i can get over it <laughs> what do i say <laughs> i'm speechless it's all it also doesn't help that like my bias for hoshi has strengthened so much for the last couple of freaking months so kudos to the to the choreographer. Is it Hoshi as well? Let me know in the comment section if he did or whoever did it because we need to punish them. Because they killed us! <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.